With just 59 days to go until the second Summer Youth Olympic Games kick off in Nanjing, China, we're here for an update on the team after the recent selections of equestrian, gymnastics, golf, table tennis, weightlifting and wrestling. At this stage, 85 athletes from 22 different sports have been selected and it's shaping up to be a very successful campaign for the Aussies at the YOG. Joining me today is eight-time Olympic medalist and chef de mission for the 2014 youth team, Susie O'Neill. Down the line, we've got Daniel Klopatowski, who will be competing in the shooting. Marina Carrier, who will be representing Australia in the modern pentathlon. And last but certainly not least, Angus Thompson from the canoe and kayak. Welcome, everyone, and thank you very much for being here. Susie, I'll start with you. Um, we're very close to having all the athletes and sports announced. Uh, what will it mean to have the team finally announced, and where will your focus lie in the leader? Yeah, I'm really excited when the, the whole team is announced. I think it'll probably be next week now. Um, final things we're doing is just the logistics and getting everything organised. Luckily, I've got a very good um, AOC staff that are taking care of a lot of that. Um, for me, it's all about I want to start communicating with the athletes and just um, probably just give them a, giving them a few tips about um, probably just training as hard as they can at the moment and then during the games just to um, try and make them as relaxed as possible so they can perform at their best. Um, with such a diverse team, um, some athletes will have a lot of overseas experience, others will have little to none. Um, what will you be doing and how will you be working with them to make sure everyone gets um, the most out of their, their experience? Oh, I really want to make sure we have a great team spirit, um, so working on ways to um, enhance that at the moment. Um, also, obviously, we get a chance to go to China and experience a different culture, so I want to make sure everyone takes part in the cultural and education program over there that Jessica Fox, uh, the canoeist, will be running over there for Australia. Um, and we also just want them to um, relax, do the best that they can, and, and really just remember that it's only a sporting competition. You know, I think sometimes we can get caught up um, with big competitions, so it's all about um, athletes really enjoying their first sport into the Olympic movement. Um, Daniel, we'll head to you. Um, your family tree has the Olympics written all over it, um, with both your father and grandfather uh, representing Colombia in the shooting. Um, how do you feed off their experience and, and their success? Uh, well, I use their success as a standard for my own achievements, and with my dad as my coach, well, I kind of get all his experience fed to me constantly. So, <laughs> <That's it. laughs> so that's um, a good thing. How, how are you going to be juggling school um, and training in the lead up to the games? Uh, well, my school's really supportive. I'm really thankful for that. They've given me the sports captaincy of the school, so that always helps and it shows that they acknowledge all the struggle that yeah, I have to go through. Um, and what are you most looking forward to about China? Uh, at China, I'm looking to forward to having heaps of fun and really just trying my best in my competition and just showing what I can do. Great. We'll head over to Marina. I'll take that one. Thank you. Um, now, I understand you were introduced um, to the modern, modern pentathlon in a pretty unique way. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Um, well, sorry. <laughs> um, I was living in uh, England for a year overseas, and we were being shown around the school by the uh, boarding master, I think it was, and he kind of turned to me and said, oh, well, you're Australian, now you do do all that running, shooting stuff, and I'm kind of looking at him like, ooh, don't really know what you're talking about, but ended up um, being modern pentathlon and started the week after the start of school, so that was pretty great. Fantastic. Um, now, you've been competing in the, short, uh, the sport for a very short time. Um, what are some of your personal goals at the yoga? At the moment, I think just getting there um, healthy with a full quota of sleep um, from school. Um, yeah, just getting in there and doing the best that I can do and competing you know, as well as I can is really the goal. Yeah. Um, now, just like probably a lot of other, other athletes, you're trying to juggle the HSC at the moment. Um, how are you balancing that and training for such a complex sport like the modern pen? Um, my parents are definitely, <laughs> uh, they have a lot to, um, to they, do, they really support me and um, kind of hold me together when I would otherwise be in a holding, uh, crying heap. But, um, you know, I've just got a fantastic lot of adults around me. And, um, yeah, they really help out, and I couldn't do it without them, for sure, definitely. Great. Um, and you also trained with Ed Fernan. Um, what's it like having someone like that to feed off? Oh, it's fantastic. I mean, he's so helpful. He gives me so much guidance, and I really don't know if he realises how much I appreciate it, but um, he's been absolutely fantastic. He just gives me pointers and help us along the way. Great. So, yeah. Um, we'll head to Angus. Uh, the format for the canoe and kayak um, for YOG is slightly different to uh, normal Olympics. Um, can you explain how it runs at the Youth Games? Well, at the Youth Games, it's comprised of two events, this head-to-head -head sprint on flat water and head-to-head -head obstacle course on flat water. So the whole event's on flat water. 
the obstacle course is comprised of a few holes in the water and you'll go navigate your way through them and then at the end of that you'll do Eskimo Rock and then work your way back through the obstacles to the finish line where the start was. For those who might not know, what's an Eskimo Rock? Uh, basically where you roll the boat over, do a full roll underneath the boat and come back on the other side. Right. Um, your coach is Olympian um, Miriam Fox, who some may know is the mother of Jessica Fox, silver medalist at London. Um, what's it like having her around? Well, she's definitely gained a lot of experience over the years on and off the water. Uh, she definitely incorporates that into coaching us and me. Uh, she has done over the years. Um, she's very strict at times, but she bounces that out with fairness. And she's always saying, if you're not having fun, it's not worth doing. And what are you most looking forward to about the Uh Probably meeting the whole team um, from the different sports and heading up to China with all the cultural stuff over there. Fantastic. Susie, we'll just go briefly back to you. Oh, thank you. Um, now, no doubt all the athletes are training uh, very hard over the next couple of months. Um, what else can they do to prepare? That's probably the main thing I'd say to them, though, is each day, each session, do the best that you can each session. I probably wouldn't think too far in the future at this stage. I wouldn't even probably think about the Youth Olympics that would be concentrating on each session. So that when they arrive at the Games, they know that they've left no stone unturned, they've done their best, and they can relax and, and show off and just let their performance just um, pop in. Fantastic. Um, and any final words of wisdom uh, you can offer them for your time on the big stage? Uh, I, I keep, always come back to um, a quote my dad used to say to me, which is, I probably find a bit funny. His advice to me was always, put your thumb and your bum and your brain in neutral and just, go, <laughs> and just go, which I think is perfect. You know, keep it simple, don't think. Um, you've trained for it, just, just do it. There you have it. Um, it's just eight weeks to go until 3,800 young athletes from around the world converge on Nanjing for the second Summer Youth Olympic Games. Australia is on track to send 89 athletes from 25 sports to join them. If you want to keep up to date with all the latest on the YOG you can, and support the team, head to olympics.com.au. You can also follow us on, at, at Olympic Team on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube and Google+. I hope all the athletes are training very hard and are getting excited for the Games. Thank you all for your company. I'm Sam Rawlings.